Okay, all strike of metals here. Gonna be pouring more lead today. Also big ones and rounds. Still got all that left. Quite a lot. See what I can make. The rounds are 250 grams and the mediums, these ones are should be around half a kilo. So quite weighty. They should be dry these ones now. We'll also make some in the video. Yep. Oh, that's very heavy. <laughs> nice. His mass alone is letting it fall out of the mold. Since it's so heavy. <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> very, very nice, that one. Should get a crunching pool. it in some water it's probably still a few hundred degrees yeah hot <laughs> all right half a kilo one oh that's weighty should be half a kilo this thing Ooh. nice come on very heavy don't believe it's cooled enough yet, to be honest. Let it cool for a second. While I pour one of these rounds into there. Using propane. We're using a big crucible for this. This crucible can hold about half a kilo, but because it's lead, it'll be more like 800. Very dense. Oh, that melted quick. Enough in there. Just short of the For the monthly floss. Quite a bit of borax in here. So that's helping to purify the lead. While I drop this. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Iridescent purple. Mm. 
very nice. Get that in the punching tool, do some multitasking. Still not fully liquefied. We still feel some chunks in there. There we go, they're all gone. So there's no dross of stuck in there. No, that's it. Call one of these monsters. Now, nah, this obviously need quite a bit more to pour one of these half a kilo ones. Oh, that's getting heavy. Very nice. This does require a bit of strength. The heat combined with the kilos of weight. Lead is very, very dense. Looks like I'm going to need more. There's a lump there. <laughs> I'll show you that is. Very pure. Virtually all of the oxidised material on the lead is turning instantly back into lead. Which is reducing the risk also. Oxide bad. until it is more uniform because it's taken on a sort of weird shape as you can see that's because the mold isn't hot enough
making sure the mass is fully liquefied. By heating the mortar. You feel some lumps still in there. That one's nearly dry, as you can see there is a little bit of deformation, strange sort of striations across it. That's still fully liquid, very hot. Let's check. 325 degrees, still very hot. But it is cooling. Won't, won't take too long to cool. Let's have a look at them. That's the ones that I dropped in the beginning. Quite nice. Iridescent. Nice finish on the top of that also. Very shiny. This will all tarnish very quickly being lead though. Will attain that greyish battleship colour very quick. I will weigh these up though. Check the thumbnail and my Instagram and Twitter for more information and pictures. That should be done, let's drop that. Feels like it. Give it a couple of seconds on the tile, cool down even more. This also appears to be cooling rapidly. Whoa, it's not, it's not. Still liquid underneath. We did reheat that slightly. What the? There's not enough in that round mold. Look at that. It's only just below the edge. That'll probably be under 250 grams. Yeah, I'm going to put a tiny bit more in there. Remelt it into the top surface. This needs remelting anyway. Still on the Just melt it into the existing leg. Don't say for one at all. Uh, there we go. Hopefully this will make a strange sort of shape. I'll melt it a bit further in. Make sure it doesn't. A little bit of frost there. Could be just a melted material. Tiny amount there. There we go. Still a bit too much. There it is. Strange characteristics, right? Eh? 
That's it, that's perfect. Okay. You all look cool on that. Okay. That's perfect, that now. In fact, it's a tiny bit overfilled, so I reckon that'll be more like 275, something like that, maybe. Wait. Let this monster cool. Those half a kilo types. They're quite nice, though. They have scales over by there. If there's enough time, I will weigh them up in the video. I think I will, and I'll make the next couple of these for the set in another time. Be better for viewing anyway. That way you get to see the weight. Move that there, you can put it more level. Starting to deform, shrink. Okay, this should be about done by now. Quite weighty. Seems to be a bit stuck. Guess it needs to cool a bit more. Put it on the metal bit. In a few seconds. There's a large metal heat sink there. Usually helps. Come on. Stuck on one edge. Nasty. Damn you. There we go, I loosened it. Yep. Jiggle it out now. With some jiggling. <laughs> Jiggled. Done. Look at that. Wow, that's pretty. Get a close up. Oh, it's still hot. Seems to have retained the pattern of the mold. And there is lots of nice coloration on that. As you can see. Quench that. Oi, steam. Bubbly. Still very hot. That needs to be remelted. It is taken on a deformation. If I don't have time and the video ends, I'll post the weight in the description in the uh, thumbnail anyway. So Let's take one of those half kilo ones over to the weights and weigh it quickly. Oh. Still a bit wet. Got some other stuff here I made in the last video. Scales, come on, there you go. Still a tiny bit of moisture on that, but it won't matter. Ooh, just under 400, apparently. Should be around half a kilo these. Guess this lead isn't too pure. Does there appear to be some bismuth in there though, look at that. Very nice. Got those rounds here as well. Just made one of them as you've seen. 
that was made at a different time but as you can see they're each a quarter kilogram show you now another one yep so they're all quarter kilograms them rounds still got that one there it's about to be dropped except I forgot my tongs only got one more of these each to make but I won't be doing that in this video check it out in the next video I'll be making a massive bar over a kilo so check that out quickly drop this for you hey. Very nice. Well, join me in the next part of the lead smelting, and I'll see you then.